there's never been a better time to have Sirius XM. With over 140 channels in your vehicle, your all-access trial includes more than ever before to enjoy online, on your phone, or at home. Create your own ad-free personalized stations powered by Pandora. Hear ad-free extra channels and enjoy favorite shows with Sirius XM Video On Demand. What you love is on now. Memphis Audio has just been crushing it recently these last few years with innovative new designs, forward-thinking ideas, and just really, really great, cool product. Well, today you're in for a treat on this showcase. We've got it, count them, eight new products that we're going to uncover today. We've got their president, Nick Lomonaco, in the studio with us, and it's going to be an absolute ride. Don't go away because this is CMA Showcase Memphis Audio, and it starts now. So when I learned that Memphis Audio has been around since like 1919, I didn't believe it. But it's true. This brand, this company has existed for the longest time. And over the years, they've obviously come up with different um, versions of themselves. But the most recent version, I got to say, pretty darn fresh, pretty darn innovative. Their Canadian distributor that's uh, kind of, well, not new, it's been over a year now, is Automobility. So for the, to get this show started, we're going to invite our good friend Steve Colomb, who's the product manager over at Automobility to give us a little bit of in insight as to what's going on with Memphis in Canada. Hi, man. Mr. Mr. Colomb, how are you today? Doing good. Uh, you know, you have that one. smile on your face, and I remember the first time we had this conversation, you wouldn't even tell me which brand it was, but you were like, <laughs> Ben, i got to tell you, we got something up my sleeve. I'm uh, pretty damn pumped. I can't wait to tell you, and you finally did, and it's been well over a year. So the first question I'm going to start with is, how is Memphis doing? Is it everything that you thought it would be? Yes, again, uh, we evaluated the the brand offering we have. Uh, we had, actually, sorry, my bad. The brand offering we had in the past. And last year, when we decided to bring up Memphis on the portfolio, it was filling and checking a lot of boxes that we or we did not have with our other key brands, you know. So, uh, so far, it's been a very good run. Uh, last year, we uh, got some inventory a bit late in the, in the season. Uh, if I'm not mistaken, it was late April, early May. So it was already a bit past the, uh, you know, the, the, prime, the prime time. Call it. Exactly. Mm -hmm. to, for, for orders and everything else. And as everyone knows, last year was a bit of a, I will say it politely, a disaster for uh, shipping and inventory. Mm -hmm. And so we won't get back into that. Uh, this year we're ready. So we started very early in the season. So we have inventory right now uh, and it's looking very good right now. So, what was the feedback from dealers when the reps went out there and said and showed them? Because look at the packaging. I mean, there's so much to talk about today. Look, uh, the dealers that knew the brand were very excited to learn that you know we brought this lineup. Uh, you know, to, we added this lineup to our portfolio because uh, you know we stock product, we have inventory, we have you know the Montreal and Vancouver warehouse, so we're, we're distributing. You know. Distribution force is very good. Sales force is amazing. So uh, the dealers were were very happy to uh, to see Memphis back again in, in the Great White North. So perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Well, without further ado, with a unique brand comes a unique leader, and at the helm of this ship, his name is Nick Lomonaco, and he is the president of Memphis Car Audio. Welcome to the show, Nick. Thank you very much, Mr. El Presidente. Thank you for making the time today. Uh, you're welcome. If you don't mind, I uh, brought my uh, my medallion here because uh, is that a Memphis medallion? It is. It is. Look at that oh, custom. Man. Yes, yeah. absolutely. Gotta, I see. You got to be a baller to get that. Just you so got to you know. be a baller, and you got to keep it yeah. gangsta, like you would say. Yeah, this is 100 um, percent 24 karat plastic. So. <laughs> <laughs> all good. All good. 
Uh, listen, this is showcase, and you know when people come watch a showcase, they're expecting some new goodies uh, to, to to learn about. And I mentioned I dropped it eight scheduled new announcements today. That's pretty incredible for one category, um, Nick. Yeah, yeah, we're we're trying to keep it fresh, as uh, mentioned on our live show um, a couple of days ago. I mean, we're we're trying to keep the Power Sports product growing every year, launching tons of new product every year. Amazing. Well, we got a video we're going to play to set the mood. And uh, when we come back, we're going to give you an opportunity to go through and share with us all this new stuff. Let's roll the tape. Wow, that was a lot of goodies that you packed into one video that I hope you're going to cover every single one of them. We are going to talk about them for sure. So be before we get started, so, you know, we're just talking about power sports today, but obviously, you know, Memphis is covering a lot of different categories, but I see that there's been a deeper level of commitment with power sports. I wonder if you can give us some insight on that, Nick. Um, yeah, so, I mean, as you mentioned at the, the start of the show, we've been in aftermarket auto since 1919, making seat covers and floor mats for, for Model Ts back in the day, and then uh, in 65 actually started making audio. Um, I'm told, granted I was not around here, around then, that we had the first underdash four-track player under the uh, under the brand Arthur Fulmer Radios, uh, and we changed to Fultron in Memphis over the years, so um, our goal is to just look and see where amp subs and speakers are being used and uh, try to innovate and come out with new products. And obviously, in the last few years, um, off-road off vehicles have been uh, been growing, uh, wanting to get loud while you're riding in the mud, in the desert, out west, whatever, has been more important. So that's why we've focused on, on, on this, the power sports market, as well as the marine market and the motorcycle market, all because just growing category for for audio needs very very cool well let's uh, without further ado let's jump into it because we want to learn about this stuff let's get your presentation up and uh we'll give you the mic take it away mr president all right well um <clears throat> let's let's start we're going to start out with the i guess the easiest way to get audio into your vehicle was with the with sound bars and uh, we have in my opinion the most versatile sound bar lineup on the market um so just jumping right into it the the pound for pound, pound for pound king of soundbars is our MXA SB9. So this uh, this nine inch soundbar right here um, is IPX7 rated, which means you can go a meter underwater for 30 minutes um, and you're not going to have any problem. Um, it's got a patented uh, air valve in the back that allows uh, allows for air pressure to change. So let's say you had this in a hot vehicle or even on a uh, personal watercraft and it was in the lake and the black plastic is heating up and you flip it over into a 65 degree water, there's going to be a drastic pressure change, but we have a patented valve on the back that allows it to not blow up when it gets dunked in cold water. Um, so this has three, two, three and a half inch mids and two tweeters. And the output on this thing is amazing. This actually keeps up output wise with ours 20 inch soundbar and virtually everybody else's 20 inch soundbar on the market. Um, obviously, there's a little bit of mid bass because there's only two mids as opposed to the most 20 inch soundbars that have four mids. But uh, the, the output's incredible. If you look at the picture on the right, 
uh, very versatile mounting so that this would be a setup for like surface mounting, but also comes with bar mount. And then we also make a uh, direct fit for Yamaha F FX Wave Runners. So it fits in the OEM location to drop this right on and have it sitting on top of the bike or it's up on top of the, the ski. Uh, very unique design. I haven't seen anybody else come up with something like this. And the dual RAM style mount, also very, very unique. I haven't seen that either. And you're saying you also have a factory fit bracket for a wave runner as well yeah for the yamaha fx they have they have a couple spots on the on the ski where you can mount uh their garbage oem speaker or uh <laughs> or a uh, or uh, like a gps unit on either side of the handlebars and so we have a, a mount that fits directly in that spot so you could you actually could put two of these on the ski um but one's one is definitely plenty loud from a feature set perspective, uh, Nick, we're talking Bluetooth. This is connectivity. This is power on ground. This is all in one, right? Yep. Yeah, yeah. So this it's a uh, Bluetooth and auxiliary in and out. So you could link multiple together. I mean, theoretically, you could look link infinite together because it is a wired link connection. Um, and uh, so you know, all the controls are, as you can see in the picture mounted, are, are on the top of the top of the speaker. So your play, pause, volume, all that source selection. Steve, this is different. A smaller size soundbar. A lot of the ones I've seen have all been, you know, fairly large and up to XL. This is something that's compact. Yeah. The, usually it's a 20, 28, 35 inch soundbar. Uh, again, like Nick said, we have sold plenty of those since last year. Uh, feedback on those uh, have been great. Uh, very, uh, it's, a, it's a tiny loudspeaker that does more than it has to do. So, uh, for the specific use, like on a, on a Sidu or a Yamaha or, or a golf just, cart or anywhere, yeah, this thing can go on anything. Literally, anything. Yeah, this, on this, anything. This, this really fits on anything. We're actually Dude, this can go on an success. ATV, never mind a UTV, like a regular ATV, like the open one. Yeah, this, this is a great, great piece for, for a quad. Uh, quad even, exactly, even yeah. we've been selling them in, uh, you know, in the Midwest where the farmers are. Are down here in the states and um you know if they don't really want a big system they want to hear something and so this is perfect because it doesn't take up a lot of space but still gives them the output so they can be riding all over the farm and still hear what's going on so yep. still hear the speaker so nice nice piece nice piece very very cool piece for sure um and then as we mentioned i mean we do make a 20 inch sound bar so this was our first sound bar um this uh right around 20 inches wide. So this has four, three and a half, two tweeters with two passive radiators on the side. Um, this also has uh, Bluetooth auxiliary line out so you could link multiple together. But the addition in the V3 model is we added FM radio to it. So kind of mentioning uh, the farmers that I'd mentioned but, uh, in the, with, the, with the small sound bar, a lot of people still want FM with a, with a basic audio add-on. A uh, lot, a lot of feedback from our customers about wanting FM. So we, in the V3 version, we added the FM, um, and it's been very, very well received in the market for sure. Oh, cool. And this one is, uh, and just to let you know, I think it's IPX67. Don't quote me on that. I'll, I'll get back to you on that one for sure. But it can get wet. Just don't dunk it underwater. Gotcha. Um, and then the big brother to this one is the MXASB 35, which is um, 35 inch soundbar. So we're adding uh, eight mids, two tweeters on this one. This one just gets just gets really loud. So um, versatile mounting. If you can see on the top, the rail. There's a rail on the top, the back, and the bottom. So um, we put this at 250 watts of uh, 253 watts of output. Um, gets really loud. This is again US or uh, sorry, a Bluetooth auxiliary and uh in and out so with the in and out you could use this as your head unit or your source unit if you want to build on this system absolutely yeah you could put this as your front stage and then add a amplifier with rear speakers so this could be the start so all of our sound bars are not standalone pieces they are um they are very capable of, of being the start of a system and being your source unit for a whole audio system very cool and then uh, last up in our soundbar lineup is uh, the Mac Daddy. So this is our MXA46 SB28. So this is uh, our 28 inch soundbar. It's got four six and a halfs and four one inch tweeters in it. Uh, if you look there on the right, the multiple mounting options with the rails. So ideally this is designed to be mounted overhead. So mounted just above mm -hmm. your head on the front rail. 
Uh, so even on the on the front near the controls, there's a dome light built in there. So if it is mounted overhead, you get some uh, options on the dome light. As you can tell by the, the picture, uh, this says LEDs built into the speakers. So all four, all four six and a halfs light up. And the, probably the coolest feature of this of this soundbar is it's uh, run by our our app our app based radio. So our app based radio is built into this unit. So you can uh, uh, you have AM FM, Bluetooth, auxiliary, weather band. Uh, oh, and weather have, band in a soundbar. Yeah. Nice. Right. Um, and <clears throat> it's a full head unit. So you can uh, there's a fully uh, customizable seven band EQ, um, as well as presets like rock, pop, flat, country, all that. And then um, when you're in the app, you can select a million different colors on the LEDs as well. So those so, are RGB. Those are RGB. Um, you can change it to any color you want. It has RGB output as well. So you can uh, power some other LEDs, change all the LEDs in your on your machine uh, with the app um, right, at, right out of the sound bar. Oh. So are you saying it can double as your light controller for your for your it, for your bike? Yeah, it absolutely can. It absolutely okay. can. So, um, you know, you can run quite a few LEDs off of the supply built in, um, but any a lot of LEDs you'd, you'd want to add up an RGB amplifier, which we will have later in the year. But uh, oh, fair enough. Um, so this, this cool. one looks loud too, man. Yeah, this I'll, I'll I'll go out there and say this is the loudest sound bar on the market. I mean, it's uh, I haven't tested the ones that have come out in the last few months, but uh, before that, this thing jams. It's it gets super super loud. A lot of, a lot of guys use this as their um, as their rear facing system too for tailgating on the back of a side by side. So they have a mm -hmm. system inside, and then this is firing out the back. Very very cool. All right, and then um, we'll go to. Let me know when it's a new product alert, would you? I will do that. Keep in mind, right. this one also, it's, it's six and a half. It's, it's yeah, that's what a, I said. This looks loud, man. Like four, this six is, and a half. Yeah. This is uh, getting us <laughs> to another place. I mean, okay, wait, wait. Okay, I want to say something here. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, if you go back one slide, Nick, I've listened to many sound bars like this. Okay? Mm -hmm. And I've never heard yours. But the one mm -hmm. characteristic that I've heard from this style sound bar is... You can hear them from far away, but certainly from mid bass area and is you know, not the deepest mid bass. It always feels like, yeah, you need to add us up. If you go forward now, I would be curious to know how deep this goes because I, I have a feeling this punches you in the face. It absolutely does. And then the benefit of the seven band EQ on top of that is depending on the music you want or you right. listen to, you can you can boost those those lower end frequencies to get even more out of it than. Then, then right out of the box as it's tuned pretty flat right out of the box. But uh, yeah, you have the ability to to bump up the frequencies you want to get extra punch in your face when uh, mm -hmm. with the music you want to listen mm -hmm. to. From and, you know, yeah. from personal experience, last year we hooked one up. I, I, I believe it was uh, for one of the sessions last year, or if, or was us testing it. Uh, people from the <clears throat> the offices upstairs came downstairs and asked what was playing <laughs> because we were in the in the front uh, of the building and it's very echoey, right? So that thing was banging a lot on the walls and people from upstairs came down and asked what was playing. No doubt. So it, it's it's very surprising. And I think that app is a really classy touch and just that extra piece of tech that I think customers will really appreciate. Yeah. Mm hmm. Yep, and we'll uh, we'll talk about that again in a minute. The app race stuff on another newer product as well. Okay. All right. Um, so here is an all new product right here. So new product alert. Is that oh, Honda? Like that is the Honda Talon front speaker pods. So direct OEM fit in a Honda Talon. Very, 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 very cool. Not only cool. I'm going to give you a unique badge on this one too i don't think anybody makes that yeah that uh, for 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 what we're doing no one's making it like this i think there might be a couple other companies that have thrown together a quick uh, fiberglass enclosure mm -hmm. um but this is the first uh, that i know of where um you know true injected molded and, and bolt on go. plug yes in. bolt in. does this run off duck deck power or uh, that we have multiple options. So all of our direct fit kits, we have multiple options. So um, we have our app-based radio as our as our main head unit. 
Um, so you can run these off deck power and then add the uh, the rear speakers or you can amplify them. So we sell them in various kits um, to get deck power, amplified power, amplified with rears or not. Um, no sub option on this one yet. Still trying to figure that out as there's not a lot of space in these. Uh, so um, we'll talk about the, an, a, a good option for, for this coming up. Um, and while we're on, I'll, I'll, we'll keep talking about our OEM specific kits because obviously – there's, there's a bunch of brands out there that have them, um, but we have some very unique features in our OEM kits, not just the talent one here. They all, they all share the same features. So if you notice at Memphis, we are big fans of LEDs. So we like to light things up, make it make it fun. So we have the illuminated Memphis badge above the illuminated cone. And then our speakers are kick panel speakers. So they also have an LED firing down to light up the, the oh. uh, inside of the vehicle as well to give like a cool well. glow all around. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I think Steve has some uh, some of these parts in uh, in studio there, so you can yep. see what they look like. Let's with, take a closer uh, look here. Right. Oh, well, Steve's going right close. Wow, he's getting intimate ooh, today. Ooh, very close. There we go. All right, I believe that's that's Can Am, right? Correct. Uh, yeah. Thanks. You know, okay, kudos, so Nick, on the uh, the fit and finish, man. I can tell right now already how clean that looks. Yeah, you can see the LEDs there. Those are on the bottom to light up the light up the the floor of the bike so something that's pretty unique for our brand and our our oem fit products is if you kind of look where steve's on this is a okay. a two-piece injected molded enclosure so mm -hmm. it's not an enclosure when you get it it looks just like that and like when steve unpacked this earlier it looks just like that so the two two pieces of the enclosure the speakers actually screwed in from the rear of the front piece of the enclosure and then it's then it's screwed together in in final assembly so this is a the most water resistant speaker gotcha. enclosure that's available on the market. Even the wiring is really tight and nice. Yeah, All we, I mean, I told, uh, I told our head of engineering when he was coming out with this product, I said, if you, if we don't have the ability to easily swap out the speaker with the enclosure in there, you need to make these speakers bulletproof. Cause the last thing I want is installer saying, I blew a speaker. Now I got to take out the whole enclosure. So we spent a, a lot of time making these speakers, not only bulletproof, but completely waterproof. So, Nice. Um, I like the branding on the cone too. Very cool. Yeah, we we try to we try to light it up and keep keep the the Memphis and the M wherever possible. Yeah. Like everyone hey, know. Steve, could you show the LEDs again? Sorry, I, I, we missed yeah. one point there. If I don't mind, if we just go back to that, that is a very cool feature. The LEDs molded right into the. Uh, yeah, I didn't know what you meant when you said it, but now I understand when I see it like that. Very nice. Cool. Thank you. Doing a great job, Stephen. Can call me Dana yeah. White. <laughs> well, the, the best beard in 12 volt is also, uh, you know, makes a great <laughs> best beard in 12. Oh my god, that's gonna stick. All right, yeah. I, I've, I mean, I've, I've just been to a bunch of shows, I've been to two knowledge fest down here, I've seen a lot of industry people, and people have some beards, but there's no competition. It's, it's not mm. even a competition. Yeah, I appreciate that. <laughs> so, it's a lot of work. Thanks, guys. Um, and Steve, <laughs> I think you have the sub there too, right? The yep, sub, just to hold that up for a second. Yeah. The uh, I have it pictured here on my slide, but I'm gonna guess a 10 inch, yeah, 10 inch, um, roto molded that's for a can am, so you can x3, so you can fit two of those under each oh, one under that. each seat. And boss um, logo, and all of our all of our enclosures come with the are self amplified, so we really do have a scalable system. Hold on a second, so you hold on. Did you just say it's self amplified? Yep. The amplifier yes. is built into that pod. That is amplifier is built in that little plate on the back. That's the uh, that's the amplifier plate. <laughs> okay. That's Thank you, Steve. I'm not going to keep you holding that, but that's a very unique because most of the kits I've been presented so far are more traditional in the sense that they're all um, passive drivers that require a uh, you know a remotely uh, installed power amplifier. You're saying that yeah. your your units are active. That is correct. Yeah. So we, we really wanted to make our system scalable, like legitimately scalable, where you just kept could just keep adding on pieces and here and here, like next step, next step, next step. Even if you order, even if you order a kit with just amplified front speakers, we put the four channel in the box. So that way if you want to add the rear speakers on later, you just add the rear speakers and, and the rear harness. And the rear harness is plug and play both for signal and RGB. So it really is completely scalable. If you buy the amplified front and rears, you don't have the money for the sub right away. 
you can buy this up later and as long as just running the wires to the that battery is, and source unit that's super important for the dealers to understand at the sale level when you're when you're pitching a customer these type of products to know that it's scalable to that level um i think adds another layer of value to the customer who's investing in not only his kid but also your brand to be in his bike yeah yeah that's it's su it's super cool because you can hey you don't have the money now but you're going to want base later okay well just just wait a little while you come back we'll get the sub for you put it in and it won't be won't be crazy labor because you don't have to take the whole bike apart again so all the cabling is all terminated plug and play water resistant all that stuff absolutely yes everything let's, everything's let's terminated take a look at that actually steven's putting it up i want to see the uh the detail of the terminals um wiring and stuff there we go yeah very oem looking man yeah that was the goal we i mean we're these there's a lot of there's a lot going on in these kits they sound incredible they're very very um loud and uh we want to we need to get it the right amount of power we need to make sure we don't get any water in the connections um so like i don't i don't they, even need a crimping tool to put this in no no um and our head of engineering has a ton of uh, oem experience from major u.s car manufacturers um to those uh those crazy crazy folks at Bombardier um who are probably the hardest to work with uh, which i've heard um to get things to their standard as they're crazy quebecers um, that's why yeah yeah <laughs> they're, they're all crazy up there for sure right tell me i'm wrong yeah. steve <laughs> all right so that uh yeah so these are direct fit so um applications what are we talking about here um well we have a, a variety of applications obviously the the one we just announced that we're just shipping now is the is the honda talon which is all all new for us um, in addition, I want to make sure I don't miss anything. I'm getting my notes because I don't want to mess up. Um, we've got Razor 2014 and up, not on the pro stuff yet. We're working on that. So um, that's definitely in the works, but not available yet. Um, Ranger, we have 03 to 17, or I'm oh, sorry, 13 to 17. Uh, we also have 18 and up for front speakers and rear speakers with all the bracketry required for the cool, the unique Ranger rear piping. We have 16 and up general, uh, 17 and up X3, 18 and up uh, Canon Defender, and then of course the 19 and up Talon are all the bikes that we offer direct fit stuff for. That's not a bad catalog. It's not a bad catalog at all. Very cool. Yeah. Oh, oh. I went, went too fast. Sorry. Oh, new product all right. alert. Yeah, that was a new product alert, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, I'm sorry about that. Um, all right. So now we're going into. Um, for the direct fit stuff, for some bikes, we can't find space for a sub. And there's also plenty of applications where you need a water, water resistant subwoofer. So that brings us into our universal <clears throat> marine enclosures, power sports enclosures. So this is all brand new for us right here. Um, we call it the MME, MME 3T. So this has got one active 10 and two passive radiators on it. Um, Roto molded out of high density polyethylene, which is commonly referred to as marine board. So um, very, very awesome setup. It uh, it comes in both passive and the amplified version. So it's a 300 watt RMS sub. Um, the amplified version comes with a 200 watt amp built in. And like a lot of our car stuff, one really cool thing about the passive uh, model is it's got the selectable voice coil technology our yeah. flex technology so it's both two and four ohm right on the button uh okay i was just gonna say you you have a picture of it okay so like this thing could drop into the trunk of any bike and be removed any bike. yep especially yep. If so the, even if you have the this? active one yep so this one, the one, the one picture on the back of this razor here, we had it uh, at Knowledge Fest in Vegas. This is actually the passive version, so we had our our, our Power Sports 300 watt amp on it. Um, and this this razor actually had our OEM kit in there, our OEM Direct Fit kit. So it had the 10 in the that replaces the glove glove box, and then had this in the back. <laughs> and people were blown away that we just had really only two active subs in this. There's two passive radiators on this enclosure, but uh, it, it jammed with those two two subs in it the, the one in the dash and the one what kind of power here. are you putting to her 
They're 300 watts. And it's just yeah, a single, um, I mean, basically, you're only powering a single 10, right? Yep, you're only powering a single 10. But the, the two passive radiators make it, uh, I guess, the easiest way. The way I describe it to the, the people like me who aren't, uh, are, are learning to be super technical is, it's like taking a 10 and, and faking it that it's ported. So you, you, you get the output of a ported enclosure uh, with, with a fully sealed enclosure, obviously water resistant enclosure. Yeah, that's all marinized. I mean, this could, you could run this in the rain. Is that what you're trying to tell me? Absolutely, absolutely. So if you look at the picture here on the left, the wiring that's sealed out of the box here um, is got the, the signal and the RGB, because of course, full RGB on all three cones light up. Um, and then right here, you've got your, uh, on the passive version, this is where you have the selectable voice coil for either two or four ohm, depending on your amplifier situation. Steve, I don't know if you're thinking what I'm thinking, but here's what I'm thinking. Uh, this is very innovative. And I think this is going to go very far beyond power sports. I'm thinking about seven different applications for this, this piece right here that as far as I know, it doesn't exist. Like nobody makes an outdoor element ready, all in one base party box that's what this is you could literally throw in the back of the truck because a lot of people have work trucks and they want to tailgate and you just throw it in the back you could do it for rvs there's just so many applications boats um i know you're showing it in a in a power sport setting nick but uh you you, you hear what i'm saying i'm sure you thought about all this yeah yeah we we thought about it um we actually one of our our uh our customer support guys his 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 girl's got a jeep we put it in the back of the Jeep just because it looks really cool in the back of a Jeep. And she, she didn't want anything giant. She wanted to add some bass and she's ecstatic about it. Um, but yes, golf carts, um, any, any, Pontoons? any bike you can add it into the back. Um, oh. Oh. Any, anywhere. Yeah. Boats, you know, you mentioned boats when you don't have any room to put, yeah. uh, to add a subwoofer into the baffle or even seal box. Cause you know, you have so much room in a boat, but this is ready to use. You get you throw in the active version and you're ready to go. Yeah. But, but here's the craziest part. You ready for this now? Let's say I have a pontoon and I have a bike. I could literally have it wired and use it for both vehicles. Absolutely. Think about yeah. that for a second. I could, you know what I'm saying? If I'm only going for the weekend, I got a party, whatever guy's going on the boat, great. There's my there's my there's my party on the boat. But then next weekend I'm going in into the woods. Disconnect, bring with. It's already pre-wired. Clip her in. Yeah, that, I know. That, I, I know it, that's not great because you're, you know, you're selling one customer we'll sell you for different vehicles. <laughs> <laughs> but from a consumer standpoint, this oh, represents incredible great. value. Yes. Yeah. The, what you're talking about, uh, if you see, if you look in this picture here, the, all these little circles, those are all mounting points for the cast aluminum feet. So, I mean, you just unbolt it from there, unbolt the feet from the floor or wherever you have it mounted. I mean, we're talking less than ten minutes to swap those out between the two. That you just mentioned, I, I had not even thought about that, but apps, you're you you're, you're dead on. That'd be super especially easy to seasonal do. stuff. Like at a certain point, people stop with the boat; they go into the woods up here, right? Like boats finish usually Labor Day, right? That's when people pack up for the cottages and whatnot. Well, you put away the boat, you take the box. Now you put it into what you're playing with in the fall, all the hunters and everything else. You know what I mean? I'm just saying. Mm -hmm. Just I'm flowing ideas here. That's all. Very versatile. Yeah. Indeed. Very versatile. Very very versatile. Yeah, and uh, everyone that's heard this enclosure are, is blown away. Like, um, you know, I, I can't wait till everyone that is thinking about it gets to hear it because you you will be blown away. I mean, we had this we had this on demo um, at the shows we've been so to so far so far this year. No one believes it's just this little box sitting next to the display that's Amazing. providing all that base in a in a big open trade show hall. Yeah, good job. All right. Man, time's flying. Let's go. We got so many more. Okay. okay. To cover right. The label. <laughs> All right. Well, next up, I just want to talk about our briefly talk about our, our power sports amplifiers. These are the amplifiers that we have uh, that you saw pictured in that last uh, that last photo powering um, our uh, power sports kits as well as that that the sub or the passive sub. So we have a 300 watt mono. We have a 300 watt two channel um, and then we have a 300 by four and a 600 by four and why not say the 600 by four is probably our best selling oh. amplifier oh, um, not big. ton of power. That's a 300 by four. That's the one that comes preloaded in the, in all the OEM fit kits, as well as our Harley kits. Um, so even if you buy, 
even if you buy Amplify, just front speakers, it comes, like I said, it comes with the four channel amp in the box. So you can easily add the rear channels later. Nice. I like how compact that is too. The wiring is really Yeah, very nice. compact. Of course, all sealed. IPX67, I believe, on that. Everything's Sweet. plugged Thanks, and co covered the plugs. So those are new. So we're, we'll go fast since those are new. Um, this is probably... So this is the last section of our of our speakers for our OEM kits, but we sell these uh, independently as well. This is probably our best selling SKU in our Power Sports line. It's our mm -hmm. MXA 62 PS. Um, these are a six and a half designed specifically to be on um, Power Sports products. You'd be able to hear it while you've got the motor running, while you got wind in your face. Um, of course, the LED light up RGB, um, and I, I might, I'm biased, but this is the best sounding six and a half can for power sports you can buy on the market, especially with the value. This is a, a really, really competitively priced speaker that just jams. So, um, like I said, it comes in our OEM uh, direct fit kits. It's our rear speaker, but um, all, all sealed connections on the speaker and the RGB. So it comes with pigtails if you buy it by itself. And th those obviously line up with the harnesses for for the uh, direct fit kits for all full plug and play setup. Uh, but we we get a ton of people using these on Rikers um, the, and um, what's the bigger version of a Riker? Uh, Spider? No, not Spider. spiders. Yeah, spider. um, um, and anything with anything with a lot of golf cart stuff. So this is just an awesome speaker, super loud, easy to mount, easy to use and all sealed connection. So. What kind power of power do you need to effectively power these? Uh, they're 75 RMS. Each speaker is 75 RMS. So it works perfectly with the amplifier that we have built in, the 300.4 or the 300.2. Mm -hmm. So like you mentioned earlier, with the sound bar, add a 300.2, the power sports amplifier, and these for the rear. And now you've got front and rear stage. In and a, then in throw a, the party box in the back. Yeah, yeah. So we, we definitely, in addition to the list of, of bikes that I mentioned earlier, we do have stuff that will fit on literally any machine, even an obscure machine that obviously wouldn't make sense for us to invest the money in a direct fit kit. I'm slipping up an Argo. I'm going to hit you up. All right. All right. It's good. I'm, <laughs> yeah. We're working on actually some stuff with the uh, um, Segway just came out with bikes down here. So I just oh saw the first gosh. Segway side-by-sides. They're going to have – right now it's gas. They're going to have a hybrid – coming out in a couple months so wow cool all right um and then just to mention quickly is our our uh 62 and 82 these are our marine slash power sports towers these are compression driver towers um put them on here because the people that just want to be stupid loud on a side by side um so i hope they're pointing them backwards because when you're four four feet from a compression driver you're blowing your face off yeah, typically these get pointed backwards. That that photo that we had of mm -hmm. uh, that I had of the uh, the bike we had at Knowledge Fest that had them both. Those were the the rear firing. Like I put the small before inside, and then put these ones back. That's right. Yeah, they're they're stupid loud. This is this is really for the party out the back. For in my opinion, um, just too loud. <laughs> but uh, these work on both uh, marine boat applications you know tower applications as well as mm -hmm. power sports um and then next up i'm i'm talking about these just because they're so cool this is a brand new product for us it's going to be shipping soon um we're calling these our marine amps but they will they already have been used some of the pre-production samples have been used on power sports applications because it's obviously marine and power sports it's the same same uh, level of of waterproof protection um these are fully sealed. Um, you see there, all the speaker connections have a sealed connection right there. So um, on the other side of that is pigtails. So you can solder all your connections. Obviously, no one no one who's watching this would ever use a butt connector. So it would be a uh, solder and heat shrink to keep it completely sealed. The power lug is removable. Um, so really, really cool waterproof, uh, waterproof waterproofing on these amplifiers. Uh, but the coolest thing about these amplifiers is the power setup. So because I, like I mentioned with our, with our universal enclosure being selectable voice coils, the rest of our new marine woofers and our power sports woofers are selectable voice coils. So we don't need a mono. We don't have a mono in, our, in this bigger Interesting. lineup. Mm. So we have a 600 by two, um, a 500 by four, 
and a 900 by six. And the 900 by six is so unique um, because it has 300 by two are the fifth and sixth channels. Ooh, sorry about that. The fifth and sixth channels have 300 watts a piece. So you could either run one big sub or two small subs, smaller subs, 300 watt subs on the rear two channels, or you could run tower speakers off of it. So you could use that 900.6 for the guys that want to be stupid on a side by side. That 900.6, you could run everything off that. The tire system off that one amp. Two pairs of big eight inch towers you could run on the rear two channels of that uh, 900.6. Mm -hmm. So super cool new amplifiers that, you know, probably mainly used in marine applications because they're high power, uh, but definitely be used for those guys that want to be stupid loud. Slick, nice, nice, slick look too. Continues with the that industrial design you guys have put into play. Yeah, yeah. Thank you, thank you. We're that's that's our goal. So glad it's working out. Um, well, in my opinion, anyhow, my humble opinion. <laughs> <laughs> um, another new product alert here. Oh. This is our, our new SMC three. Um, so this is a new head unit for us. So this is a marine or uh, power sports radio. Um, you know, water resistant radio. Uh, what we try to do at Memphis is we try to, we don't have, uh, we don't have a ton of radios. You know, we don't have 18 different models of radios. We try to get everything our customers need, um, it, with a, a good price, uh, with, with the features that most people want. So this has a three inch color display. You got AM, FM, Bluetooth, auxiliary. Um, and then you also have camera input. So you have nice. uh, mm. both push button trigger and a wire trigger to turn on the camera. And when we first came out with it, um, people asked, well, why do you need a camera? It's just a small screen. Well, if you're on a side by side, I mean, you just want to make sure you're not running over your kid when you're backing up. You don't need it to be some giant high res screen. You're just making sure there's nothing behind you. Same thing on a boat, um, even on a tow boat, you just need to see a little screen to make sure whatever you're towing is still above the water. That's it. Yeah. Most of the time, it's just loading the trailer where you need it, where you're coming off the trailer or whatnot. That's yeah, most of the it's, time it's when you need it. Easy, easy stuff. So, um, you know, that's that's we, we list to our customers, their customers, uh, just try to pack all the features that we can for that's, the right price. That's, that's like that's standard marine size, three, whatever, three, three and a half inch. Yeah, three, about a three inch hole cutout. Yeah, so it's a drop in with virtually everybody else's in the market. Um, and it's USB? also USB. Uh, yes, has USB as well. And um, and um, also has zone two and independent sub control. So oh. um, it's got front rear pre, pre out sub and a zone two. So you have your main volume by turning the volume knob, tap it once you're in zone two, tap it again, you're controlling your sub. So really easy to get to, to adjust the volume on a, on a zone two output or on a, or on the sub. So for, for power sports, if you wanted to have those rear towers firing backwards, you could turn them off, turn them off when someone's following on the trail. Oh, as a uh, zone two option as a zone two yeah and then uh turn them back up when you get get to camp and you want to party again because I, I have been on i have been on a ride in the south where behind uh behind the bike that had like four eight inch cans and they didn't have a zone two output and it was obnoxious trying to ride behind i couldn't even hear my music because i just had a regular setup in the front and they had four compression horn towers in front of me so um definitely a cool versatile piece for riding nice all right and then this is, it's a new product. Uh, it's more of an improvement, but it is an all new product, uh, the SMC 2A. So this is uh, this is our head unit for our OEM kits. Um, this is our app-based radio. So the hideaway black box, everything you need, front, rear, sub out, full radio with fader, like I mentioned, uh, fade and balance, like I mentioned before, the seven band EQ, along with the presets. Um, and then you see there, the one of the big improvements is the controller that we, uh, we, we nope. made an update too. So you can control everything through the app. Oh, Steve's Steve's got a it up in Let's person. take a look at that. Okay. Is that blue so, only? That's the first question I'm going to ask you. Nope. So the color changes by the source. So it's blue for Bluetooth, green for oh, green for auxiliary. Okay. Um, and don't quote me on the other colors. I, I don't remember what they gotcha. are. Purple, pink, yellow for weather band, AM and FM and USB are different colors. So once you memorize the colors, it'll tell you what what source you're on based on. Oh, that's the hideaway um, piece. That's the hideaway brain. Yep. Okay. Yeah. And 
this this piece actually you know we designed it for power sports and marine but it gets used a ton in uh, in classic vehicle applications yes where there's no head unit to replace the factory deck mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so this 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 actually this radio was used in uh two vehicles that were entered into the joker competition at sema this year unfortunately neither of them won but uh but they still were in cars cool enough I mean, we're talking high-level, perfect vehicles that are that are in the Joker competition for best best vehicle at SEMA. Um, so very, very versatile piece, Power Sports Marine, as well as classic vehicles or anywhere you want to lose. You don't want to lose the look of the factory. Is that the unit. standard rocker panel size switch? Yeah, yeah, oh, it's wow. our rocker panel. So it pops right in. Mm -hmm. Again, it was originally designed for Power Sports, so it just drops right into the standard mm -hmm. rocker panel switch. Um, and it's, that's what comes in the box for our kits. Very, very easy to use. Nice. Um, and super clean. I like that one. Yes. And then stick it with the Bluetooth. We have three all new Bluetooth controllers. So the next three parts are all brand new. So we have, uh, this is our SBT one. So one feature that all of our Bluetooth controllers or receivers have is they have a legit 2.6 fold output. And, um, you know, a lot of people claim to have a certain output voltage and then you use it in, um, once you install, you're like, that doesn't have that output voltage. I'm not being able to, I can't run much off of that. So we, we pride ourselves on having the, the, the RMS output voltage that we say. Um, so this is our, the SBT one, this is a streamer. So it's simple, simple setup power ground. that gives you two channel RCA out just a receiver. So it adds, adds Bluetooth to anything with an RCA input. And that's a remote wire out. I see there, right? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Return so, on. yeah, it also could turn stuff on. So beautiful. Very, very cool piece. And then keeping with that, the next level up, this is our SBT two, and this is a standard rocker panel switch. Um, so this is, this is Bluetooth auxiliary and USB. Um, again, gives you the 2.6 out with the RCA out. Um, the, the rotary knob there, that's an improvement for the model this year. A lot of our customers, virtually all of our customers said, we like rotary knobs better than push button. So we've updated all of our volume knobs to be rotary. Um, and then the LED in the middle changes colors based on the source again. So um, blue for Bluetooth, green for aux, and I think purple for USB. Um, so really, really does cool this piece. also work? This also works with the app. This one does not. No, this, this, this is work. just this is just a standalone uh, Bluetooth receiver and controller. So it looks similar, same. It works the same as the controller remote, but this is a standalone piece. Got it. All by itself. And then the last of our all new remotes is our SBT4. So this is a little bit bigger controller, um, you know, surface mount controller. Um, again, the color changes with, with the source. This is aux, USB, and uh, Bluetooth. Um, this one has, if you see there, it has the, the separate box with the, the wire that's long enough. So if you need to put this on a fairingless, um, cruiser bike, like Harley without a fairing, um, it also comes with a bar mount, um, in the box. So you can handle bar mount on a motorcycle, no problem. And the wire is long enough to make it all the way to the gas tank or past the gas tank to mount, you know, to hide the box. Um. So very, very super cool piece. Again, adding the rotary knob was a big deal. Even we even asked our customers, like, well, we're, we include the bar mount. Some people are using this for motorcycle applications. They said, still make the rotary. Use your thumb for the rotary. They prefer the rotary over the. I would love button. to see a side shot of that. So that is what is it? A circle or a square in the back of that? It's it's a square, but the back uh, the back is a circle. So the back is just a circle. Okay, but it can and be flush mounted through. onto a dash as well. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. and then uh, the. The little no, no app. This is like the previous one, Bluetooth only straight up. Yeah, this is just a Bluetooth auxiliary controller. Com complete. Uh, is that a micro? A 3.5 mil? Yeah, the, uh, the auxiliary is a 3.5 mil okay. in, um, input. Sweet. So, That's a nice little clean piece as well. I like that yeah, better. So this, if, if you don't have to do a rocker panel, that's a nicer piece yeah. in my opinion. Yeah, yeah. And, and we've actually... Uh, on uh some of the like we've had people that are putting personal watercraft and they're adding our 62 mxa 62 ps like i mentioned for some of our best sellers mm -hmm. uh they'll use this and mount this you know somewhere on the on the ski to be able to control everything really easily 
Um, so very, very versatile piece. Again, it's one of those that you can use on virtually any application from golf cart, um, jet ski, side by side. And if I know anything. Memphis, these aren't very overpriced either. No, no. We, we try to make our stuff uh, some of the best value in the market while still making it the best quality as well. So everybody everybody gets a good deal from uh, – so, cool. you know, Steve's got to be able to afford a lot of that uh, that beard oil. So – He's got all that beard there. maintenance, right? All the beard maintenance. Yeah, a lot of beard maintenance. Yeah, I can, sure. I can only imagine how many uh, beard straighteners he goes through, you know, mm -hmm. a year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's got the beard flat brave. irons. All right, have we arrived? Are we? I think. I think. No, oh, everything's popping up. Yep. Oh, oh sorry. No. One more. One more piece. This is also uh, a new product for us. Oh. This, okay. This is a, the. We launched it a bit ago, but we weren't shipping it. So it's new because it's now shipping. Um, that's always a positive. Um, so we call this the MSA, MXA link. So this uses a 2.4 gigahertz technology to um, connect up to uh, five, five uh, boats, side by sides, anything you want. So um, you can connect five of these together, really easily switch between send and receive. Oh, this so, is the, this is, this is the party connector. This the is broadcaster. the party connector, yeah. Yes, okay, gotcha. So you do, uh, you know, line out of, of one of one bike and then line in on four others um, into your auxiliary and be able to all be jamming to the same exact mm -hmm. same exact tune. So this works on boats, power sports, um, side-by-sides, quads, anything. Um, real easy, real easy to use, real easy to get the party between, you know, five different people all in one spot, same music. A lot of nice emphasis on um, interface solutions. Yeah, yeah. Nice which... All right. Well, I do think that is all for me on my. Well, that's a lot. Now. That was great. All right. So, um, let's just review real quick. The Honda Talon um, direct fit speakers, pretty darn unique. So really nice. I love the fact that you have multiple interface options with Bluetooth, some with the app, some without the app, different shapes, different pretty much, you know, for a dealer, everything, if, if there's any space at all, we can get a source unit in there. Exactly. Through That's the goal. Product, regardless, or a classic mm -hmm. car, like you mentioned, or CD or anything of that nature. Um, but I have to go back to that party in a box situation. That party in a box <laughs> is super innovative, Nick. I think it's, uh, it's, it's creating a new category in its own i know i know it's you're marketing it as a power sport thing i see it as way beyond that and i think that's where it's going to go and hate to tell you this you're not going to be the only one making that soon enough because that's a great idea uh and 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 what i like about it is the flexibility mm -hmm. and the fact that you have a passive version and an active version well done so kudos to you and your team on that one that's my two cents what do you think of that one steve or anything that we presented tonight uh, well tonight. Uh, there's a lot of very unique products that we saw today, the new products as well. Uh, you think about the marine amps and the way they configure the outputs on that six channel to give you the most out of every situation, regardless of your running speakers, subs, wake towers. So it gives a, you know, the dealer and even the consumer a lot of options. Uh, you know, limits inventory, meaning that you can mm. carry one app that does multiple purposes. You don't have to carry a five channel, a six, a six channel, the mono app. So, uh, same no, with very, the same with the subs that voice selectable yeah. voice coil thing, right? One skew. Yeah. That's it. Correct. You know, yeah. Memphis is a lot is innovating a lot in, in in very unique details in some areas that the the MXA link we had requests for that. You know, in the summer, we have uh, a couple of dealers that are marinas, and we got asked, hey, do you have something to link our boats together? Because we're parked four side by side, and we want to play some music on all the boats, right? So uh, we had no solution. So I don't think even there was a solution easily available on the market. So, uh, no, it's a lot of uh, detail, attention, and uh, great price point, too. Uh, I mean, yes. I also, the last thing I have written down here is a great selection of sound bars. Sound bars is something that yeah. stores should have yeah, in stock, sure. but those three models or was it three or four models that you presented cover pretty much the whole gambit. 
you know what I mean? Especially that small one. So that couldn't go anywhere, literally anywhere. Mm-hmm. Um, it can go in your dude. You know where I should put one? On my or- lawnmower. Uh, we actually have one on i i, I totally I lost put the picture one. we we have one on the lawnmower for sure on a oh that's lawnmower. just so perfect for the lawn. i just thought of it just now anyhow uh and that big one uh with the six inch drivers that thing just looks like it blast your face off of, which, it which is exactly what it's designed to do yes exactly what it's designed to do yep all right uh last but not least i'd like to close this out with saying uh how are we doing with inventory? You touched on that in the beginning, Steve. All this new stuff, is this coming soon or are we waiting months? Like, where are we at with all this stuff? Yeah, uh, most of it is expected Q2. Uh, some of it are already trickling in at the moment, meaning that, uh, you know, we, we got some uh, some of the new products that we're able to ship, I would assume, uh, before uh, Chinese break. So, uh, and most of the new products should be available around May, uh, May? which is mm-hmm. great news. Um, you know, there's still around... I mean, everyone in the industry knows that there's still some minor issues this year with everything going on again. So, uh, but, but it is better. It is better. It's, it's yeah. better. It's way better. We'll take it. We, we'll take it. Yeah, we were prepared earlier this year, so it gave us a huge advantage. And, and uh, sounds yeah. good. Yeah, it's, de- it's definitely better. And and the the partying box, the subwoofer is uh, that's that's being packed right now. So we should have that at the end of next month. So. Um, Nick, Nick, I'm going to leave you the last words before I let you go. What message do you have for dealers who are watching this and uh, or might be interested in trying out your product in this category? Um, I guess my message would be, uh, you know, if, if you haven't if you haven't given us a try, you know, we we've we've been in Canada for a while, but I mean, we've really really gotten to the next level now that we partner with Automobility. So um, if you haven't given us a try, um, definitely give us a try, especially because we have so many versatile products. We have so many things that you can just dabble in um and 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 i think once you dabble you'll realize that we've uh we've got something that you can sell make money with um and make your customers really happy so uh give us a try i i think um that that's that's all i can say if you have if you haven't heard the new memphis then you know it's kind of a cliche saying but you you don't know what you're you're missing perfect um do they get how much do they have to order to get a medallion and chain that's my last question uh (laughs) <laughs> I don't know. Steve and I are gonna have to talk. I don't, Steve doesn't even have a chain yet. I got to get him one. I'm, I'm kind of jealous, jealous. Yeah. I want Memphis grills. Oh, we have those as well. That's what I want. Um, I want Memphis. Grills. I just, I just uh, can't talk for an hour wearing them. So. <laughs> <laughs> Nick, always a blast to have you on. Thank you so much, and congratulations on all the new products this season. All right, thank you very much, Ben. Take care. Thanks, buddy. Steven, lots of cool product. Love having Nick on. I love the fact you guys have Memphis. I think it's a really fresh, fun, innovative company. Um, you can tell. Just look at the type of stuff they're coming up with. Innovative, yeah. different, right? Coming with solutions. Um, if you guys are sure. tuned in, you like what you see here, you want to get a hold of Steve and his team at Automobility. Yes, Automobility. They are the exclusive Canadian distributor for Memphis, and that's where you want to go. If not, if you're in the U.S., go ahead and give a buzz to Memphis. They will point you in the right direction. Steve, um, another good one, man. Thank you for joining us. You're looking sharp. Keep grooming Thanks that again. beard. Keep grooming that yes, beard. I, uh, I will. And before you know it, we'll be back here talking some motorcycles. So I'll talk to you soon. Very exciting, too. Thanks, man. Take care. There you have it, folks. That was Memphis in the power sports category. Of course, we are encouraging you to continue tuning into CMA Networks as we trot down the pathway that is the power sports audio sessions. One-on-one, one brand each and every day, right up until Tuesday, April 19th. There's the brands participating in this power sport event called the Power Sports Sessions. Of course, we want to watch out any of our videos. Make sure you log into our website. CMANetworks.com, brand new interface, easier to find content, either by brand, by category, and even by trainer. Look up Nick Lomonaco, would you? He's got a couple cool videos that he's done with us. That's it. Thanks for tuning in to this CMA showcase presented by SiriusXM. I'm your host, Ben Wu. Until next time, we connect.
Yeah. Roll it down. I am. You don't need a car to listen to Sirius XM. You can listen anywhere. You know that, right? What? Kevin Hart's last What? Okay. <laughs> Kevin. You could use your phone. What? What? Alexa, play Kevin Hart's Laugh Out Loud Radio on Sirius XM. What? This is how I know you're getting old. I guess that was it. What? <laughs>